Well, there it is. Hi guys, welcome to the Patreon game for Jacob. Full Scale Assault is the map we'll be playing on as an orange undead. I'm not sure what that means, but hopefully it means victory. We'll see what we can work up towards. You know what else it does perhaps mean? Dreadlord. At least Dreadlord first. So let's have a look and see about this, shall we? We've got a Night Elf above us. We've got a human behind it. Oh, an Orc there. Wow, look at that. So everything's perfect, except for a potential feed that might cost us the game, or it could be the thing that gives us victory. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. So Jacob is a Tauren patron, and he has said, Hey, I'm happy to help out. I do happen to have a strategy that you may have written down already. And, uh, this one is actually uh, free to go, free to be done. So we're going to go Dreadlord, Carrion Swarm, Panda, Breath of Fire with Drunken Brawler, not Haze, and Crypt Lord with Impale and the Armor Passive. So this strategy has tanky melee heroes supported by Famp Aura to tear apart frontline units with their abilities. You may want to go to the goblin shops and pick up some periaps of vitality for extra sustain. Not a terrible idea, depends how much well how long the game goes on and how tricky things get because if the enemy have a lot of damage then yeah, you know like sh shims and uh, frostworms, griffins, that kind of thing like I could take a lot of burst damage potentially. So with this in mind, for units, you can do whatever you want. I personally suggest some abominations and frostworms to help kill almost anything. You can make the video public to everyone if you'd like. I just hope you have fun with it. Thanks for making all of your videos. See you later. Right then, let's do this, Jacob. Let's go. Let's make it happen. I don't know how many abominations I'm going to be making. I haven't had much success with abominations in the past with 4 versus 4 random team, and I don't suspect it's going to start now. If I did get abominations, I might be tempted to get a few fiends. The main thing is to get those free heroes and power them up. First being the Dreadlord. I'm going ghouls at the moment to allow me to tech up because the ghouls give you the wood. It's actually probably a good idea, thinking about it, to go into Acolytes and an expansion. Looks like pink. I mean, he's building weird. I don't know if that means he wants that expansion over there. Did he say anything about that? He didn't say anything, so... As far as it seems to me, I could probably go for that expansion, and I probably will, to be fair. Because if I can get that expansion, I can afford those frost ones, and maybe even abominations as well. So this expansion is really, really important if we can work towards it. Let's make it happen together. Let's go, Akko, Ghoul, you, boom. Mm. I'll get the dust as well, just so I can see the annoying blade masters that come to harass. You guys come with me. That'll do. That'll be enough. And we'll leave a little bit on the wood. Let's go. What's Pink's game? Oh, Dark Ranger. Yeah, he can't. He doesn't have priority over this expansion. Let's go in. Should have slept that just before he managed to get that bloodlust off. But it's done now. We'll move on. Oh, you come over there. Acolyte, you come to me. Dark Ranger should get some benefits from this if she's freaking attacking the right units. And we're not going to bother sleeping again because I want to conserve as much mana as possible. These injured ghouls can always go back to base. So it's not really a big problem. The only problem is if a Blade Master comes in and spoils my thumb. Yeah, that's pretty tanky. Ring of Protection plus three. How about that? How about them apples? Right then. You guys over there, build up on that. One more skeleton if we can. No, we got enough because she's taken the rest. She stole the rest of them. I can't even use my skeleton rod. The swine. All right. Two more acolytes to fill up that gold mine. So one, two, three, four. One, do, do. Get ready for this. Sleep the big dude. Go for these guys. Preferably the little one, actually, but whatever. I'm in a better position for this. We're all working together as a solid team unit. Look at this. The coordination, the skills. I've got enough ghouls. I don't think I need the... Um, I'll just take the item. Don't mind me. It's not particularly great for anyone. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I need a shredder. I don't think I can justify a shredder. Ghouls have all got to pull back. I'll oh, boost the speed. That saves me 250 gold. Never mind, I've got the expansion anyway. Got this with Ogre Strength. No! It's all taken. It's all nicked. Everyone's just an inch ahead of me. So they can nab the items. Alright, there's your Fampora. 
So you've got to bear in mind that once I've got that tech started, and when it's finished, neutral hero, which will be the panda for that brawl, so to speak. Just for orange, just for pink steel in my experience, I'm going to take some of his moon juice. I shouldn't really, because it's for mana. It's terrible efficiency, but I think that's a price he's willing to pay there. For me, essentially allowing him to get free creep right. Because he couldn't do that without my hero and my units there, so that's my excuse. Um, I could keep getting ghouls. I don't really see what reason not to, because at the moment I can't build Abomination. I can't build Frost runs. I can't get any of them for quite a while. Ring of Protection plus three. Nab that. Let's go harass. I'll get one more skeleton out. That gives me a spare slot. Yeah, I don't really want to keep building ghouls, but to be fair, it's the case. Let's go for a tanky abominations and damaging frost worms. I need to spend my resources on something. Although, towers around here wouldn't be a bad way to spend my resources instead of keep building ghouls. That'll give me um, some sort of validation over spending my resources on something that isn't completely useless. Cough ghouls, cough ghouls. Um, there's enough of them that I could probably get them to join me now. And they're bringing in enough wood for another tech. You've got to think future-proof him. The longer you keep the ghouls in the wood, the more you get in the long run. Uh, let's bring you free over for now. And then maybe I'll adapt and bring some more. They're not going to get any better in the later game. Ah, screw it. Let's bring another two. We've got enough, I think. Even to afford those expensive tech buildings. We're really creeping strongly together. We're just missing the expansion down there. But if we go and put pressure on their expansion, we should be able to make sure that they've got barely any either. Let's go, yeah, put some pressure on. I'm tempted to buy an item. I suppose boost of speed if no one picks it up, because you always want boost of speed. When do you not want boost of speed? There's a damage. Ghouls are on that. We don't have to come and creep this. I oh, nip nab the... Everyone's... I can get the Perry apps. Let's buy the Perry app. That's something, eh? May as well buy something whilst I'm here, but I can't get boost of speed. Dag nab it. There we go. Look at this for that Dark Ranger. Those frisky, well, soon to be dead peasants. It's almost tech time, so we want to bring a ghoul down to here. Potentially, actually, instead of doing that, I'm going to send my Dreadlord over to the other tavern on their side. Going to tech straight up again. Going to work towards those abominations, as mentioned. Oh my god, this is a rough place to run around. Mountain King with potential Stormbolt, and look at this, what is that? Oh, Panda Breath of Fire right here, right now, let's do this. I don't know if I get to kill all of them. Might get to do some serious damage, though. I'll take it. <laughs> That'll work for me. I'll have it. Although I feel like I've got barely any ghouls now. Come on, come to Papa. I want to play. Fine, I'll just go for your gold mine then if you're going to hog hog the trees like that. Oh, forcing the town portal. Let's get a couple more ghouls in. Someone has bought a shredder on our side as well, I think. Who town portaled in? Oh, wow, look at that. He town portaled with all those militia. Now they're going to be wasted. They'll make good cannon fodder for Breath of Fire. Shame it's only level 1. They're going to be so vulnerable. This could be a game over already. They've got some defense over here. I'm really tempted to go over here, but I'm going to block myself in. So I might be able to kill a bunch of peasants here very quickly with the ghouls if I can keep them on these without getting distracted by other enemy units. Because as soon as you bring enemy units in, your ghouls will automatically go for them. Whereas at the moment, you can see I've got free reign. Look at this. Everything is being killed. Slaughter. Absolute slaughter. And look at that over there. I've got sleep, and I'm not even using it. Beautiful. Dreadlord, you did say Carrion Swarm, to be fair. <laughs> I should have gone Carrion Swarm and Vampiric Aura. My mistake. But, uh... <laughs> this was too successful. I got 2k gold because of the fast expansion. We've all crept super efficiently. Tier 3 is almost mine. We can work towards the abominations thanks to tier 3 and go towards that. The only slight mishap was taking those ghouls over. I should have just left them there because the gold to wood ratio is still too low. Just an utter slaughter. Obviously we've got to do that again. And here's hoping that I can at least have a semblance, at least a slight semblance of the amount of success I had this game. That was just a solid one-sided team fight there. We just worked together as a team and just so many human peasants to be slaughtered. Blimey. Well, Cherryville then. 
All right, let's make it happen, shall we? Don't know if we're going to get that awesome undead night elf orc human combination that we had before, but we'll see. All right, well, we did get a lever. That's a new thing. That's on the enemy team, unfortunately. Uh, not too happy about that, as you know. I don't like it when people leave the games, particularly on the enemy team, actually, if anything. Just sours the uh, occasion a little bit. But we'll see what happens. It looks like they're going to continue with it. And it doesn't mean it's a guaranteed win, because we could have someone that's absolutely terrible on this team. And uh, I guess part of the guess in game is to try to work out which person that might be. They could end up rushing. We could see what's coming our way. Hmm. Let's continue for now and keep going. But we might make some more risky moves. I Graveyard Crip. So he's less likely to be able to take an expansion, whereas I can. However, I'd be more inclined to take it in the middle. Because I'm going to be getting tavern heroes anyway, so I'm probably popping back and forth between the middle and such anyway. So it's no big problem for me to do so. Let's consider that. Ghouls will be able to feed enough. And it does leave that expansion open for him. I could take the top left. I could take the middle. I'll take the middle. Be a gambling man. See whether it pays off or whether I get absolutely salty and annoyed about it. We'll see. Now we're waiting for that cigarette to finish. And then when that's done, we're going to get the Dreadlord out. Can't really go sleep this time because I know now that it definitely needs to be Carrion Swarm. I forgot about that little feature and I figured Carrion Swarm would make a bit more sense. So um, sleep would be very useful for this creek camp in the middle. You do have a big ass um, wizard that is pretty powerful indeed. But he can be killed at the same time very quickly so shouldn't be the biggest problem in the world. This base isn't too bad actually. I can build quite a lot at the back here. There, maybe there, there. And potentially, probably not there gets blocked off there at that point. What's up with this dude? Slowly working his way up to the Ancient of War, human going rifles, and fiends for this fella over here. So nothing too dodgy, dangerous, worrisome really, just pretty legit. I think creeping the green spot straight away would be nice. I'm going to go from the Nerubian Tower since I'm on the outside, just make it a bit more defensive versus enemy blade masters that want to go inside of my base for whatever reason. They can F off. Still continue to get ghouls for the moment. Gonna angle myself for that carrion swarm. Glorious carrion swarm, look at that. Oh, that damage. So beast mode. Kill one of these little buggers to get a skeleton rod, then go for the big dude. Preferably not take any damage on my ghouls, even though I could replace them back over. Dreadlord can take damage, it doesn't matter too much. A little bit here and there, give and take. Right, creep that, put that over there, get rid of you, bring you over, bring you over. Let's go creep the middle. Yep. It's night time as well, make it a bit easier. You'll come over. It's not the easiest creep can to do with only four ghouls or so, but I reckon I can beast for it, hopefully. I'll probably still go for the wizard over anything else, just to initiate bringing him down, because he can be very nasty if left alone. Dreadlord can tank a little bit of damage here, and then it gets smoother from there on. Ring of Regeneration is a very nice item. Yep, that's good. Fill that up, back into Acolytes. I also built that cigarette fairly early, so I will be able to go back into Ghouls if I need to. But I really do enjoy going into Heavy Ghouls. And someone's coming into my base, looks like Blizzard. No, it's not Blizzard. All oh, right. Lol. They're all in in because again they had that guy that left, so my base is going to be the one that gets attacked. Never attack an undead base, as you know. I'll just take down one of their heroes, make it a bit more awkward for them. Acolytes are still alive here. Ghouls can pull off a little bit here for now. Spare Acolyte to go on there. We've got... Ah, oh yeah, this is pretty much a win. They can't do much versus this. They won't do much versus this. 
They're all scattered. Still got Acolytes in the gold mine, and they're going to go. Yep, they'll give up after this. Carry on getting the ghouls. Still getting the Acolytes. Does he not realise that they had a player leave? It was quite likely they were going to rush. You go back onto the gold mine. That's going to be real filled up. Then tech as soon as this Acolyte comes out. It all basically plays itself. So now they've got two players on their team controlling. We're getting tons of experience making this hero even more powerful. The quicker I get that tech, the faster I get to that panda. And the quicker we can finish this. Although, to be fair, I think this is kind of over. I actually did get one Acolyte too many there. Which I suppose is never exactly the biggest problem in the world. I think I'll live. Now ghouls back onto wood. Carry on building ghouls for wood purposes only. And then just go on your way, I suppose. Level 3 Dreadlord by himself might still be able to do a bit of damage. As well as an Acolyte. i get him to scout. I can't imagine that they took an expansion. They would only take like the corner expansions, if that. They seem pretty aggressive for the most part. So we can do a little bit of punishing. Still getting the ghouls onto the wood. Because, as we saw from last game, it's very important. <laughs> to have as much wood as possible because those tier 3 buildings such as the boneyards are like 200 wood each not exactly cheap how'd you do it? how you doing? boom! may as well chuck one of those in there for you have one of those are you gonna go for a cheeky surround eh? probably not gonna work out too well plus I've got that death knight nearby who actually is quite wise enough to heal me up good value there I don't mind tanking if I know I'm going to be getting coils. Now onto the level 1 Archmage. Back onto Ghouls. I don't, again, I don't want to... You always get this moment where you're just like, uh, I've got lots of gold. Nothing else to really spend it on. Don't really want Ghouls, but I kind of should build them because I can always get rid of them later on. And the wood is far more important than having a few wasted Ghouls later on in the game. And arguably, they're not really that wasted, are they? If you actually got value out of them. Which is their main purpose is to provide that value. Because you're not really going to get much value from them in combat situations unless they're tier 3 against mass. What is it now? Uh, they're not too happy with blue. What Was he... Mortal. I don't remember seeing much of blue when they attacked. Was he the demon hunter guy? I don't know. <laughs> the demon hunter guy. Was he the... Was he the dude with the demon hunter? I've got a level 4 dreadlord here. I might just be able to tank this. Solo versus the level 1. I don't care about your burrows or anything else you got. I'm just going for blood here. Don't know if I'm going to get a coil though, so I'm taking a little bit of a risk. One more hit. Should be able to finish him off. I don't trust Carrion Swarm to finish him off. There we go. No, even then it didn't. I'm going to have to get the last hit and then get out. Ah. There we go. Tech up again. Pimp him out a little bit. Another player's down. Off you go. Those useless abominations. The, that's the other tricky thing about this base is you you don't really get the best space for building. I mean, if you get this many ghouls, you can probably make yourself the space, but it's not the best, really. I've seen better. Go back onto the gold. They're still building. And they're getting crushed down here. So it's one person left, blue. So bring blue out the game and then it's a lot less enjoyable for him to play as other people. That's always my opinion and it pretty much does stay true. Is if you have a player that has left the game, you generally want to... Well, if you have three players that have left the game and there's one left, you want to go for the one that's left, basically. Because as soon as you kill all of his stuff, he doesn't necessarily want to control all the other players. Because it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel as genuine, as real as his connection. Oh, oh! That then their damage. That's some more experience. We'll have that. Can't say my Fampor is working for many of my allies' units, like fiends, rifles. Someone's got to have melee. No? Maybe not. Oh, maybe this guy. Eee. Right. I think, again, we've got to play another one because that wasn't really the strategy performed. So, onwards. Well, that was fortunate. I didn't have much time to wait. I literally just went straight into another game. So, great. Deadlock is the map, and this is probably going to be the one that we lose now. I had two very successful games where I don't really get to pull off much of the strategy. 
And now this is probably going to be a real tough one. Let's hope that's not the case. I will try to make sure that that doesn't happen. I'm actually going for Alter first, because I think that the Dreadlord can solo a lot of these green camps without too much trouble, and then Crypt afterwards. Because if you go Crypt Alter, you still got to wait, unfortunately, for that cigar art. We're going early here, because with the hero early out, you can creep a lot of the green spots, and then maybe even move on to this spot, which is technically green as well, but it's a little bit more powerful. Melee, and of course, double undead there as well. Uh, let's just tell him what I'm doing. Dreadlord Panda. What was the third hero? I don't. I've never got to that stage. There you go. They know the deal now. They know the deal. Vampora coming nicely for the Tauren, so. Frost doesn't really work with Fampora, but the heroes are the, like the tanky ones here that are benefiting from the Fampora more than anything else in this. There's your Dreadlord. He'll be popping out. Still got five Acolytes. Go for that next Cigar Art. And that'll be plenty of time. Don't know whether I want to bother getting an Acolyte. It's only going to be sitting there for ages, but I should have enough resources for ghouls and acolytes and even the dreadlord items when he comes out of tomb of relics hmm. don't have to build it yet certainly not going to get an expansion yet either but I want to he's getting early Nerubian not that early though I don't expect my base to get attacked here at the top here so I might be cocky enough to not bother getting Nerubian but at the same time Maybe I'll get it after the Dreadlord pops out. I'll have one ghoul come out. One ghoul can tank the green spots. I should have gone Fampora first, actually, thinking about it. The reason for that being... ...is that I don't really use Carrion Swarm in this scenario. I'm not really going to use it. Ah, screw it. I'll just use it now. Get it out of the way so I can be building up that mana. Ghoul tanks a little bit. And then we keep replacing that one ghoul with another ghoul. So the Dreadlord doesn't really actually take any damage from these small Lobi Creek camps. Now I need to start building those Acolytes. Get those building so I have five. Don't even need the ghoul, actually. Or a ghoul replacement. I can just use the um, skeletons. And keep the ghouls in the wood as well. For as long as possible. So carry on doing this for now. That's working fine. Four more acolytes. Maybe get in the Rubian Tower now, just to, just to be safe. So any more ghouls if I can? I suppose not really needed because I'm going to have resources for the expansion, the tech. Oh, they did decide to go for him. That's kind of aggressive. Fine. I'm going to be really slow to get there though. By time. Well, that's not even worth it. If he knows, he'll know how to do it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Right, let's bring you ghouls with me. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get that expansion if we're dealing with this. Two. Need another acolyte after that. One more ghoul. Probably enough. He's losing a fair few acolytes here. They're definitely getting a successful attack on him. Because he's not really saving them properly, but... Block that grunt out if we can. Right, the acolytes are building. I'm going to want to get that tech. So I don't really want to delay too much on any of this. So I'm probably going to end up taking the expansion to the right. Not my ideal spot, but it's going to get dumb. Oh, I'm aware of attacking the hero. I wanted to value killing the grunts though in that scenario. The hero is going to get out or teleport, so I see it as free experience, to be honest. Killing the units. Yeah, he does need a little bit of gold. Get that fam. Shit, lost the goal. I lost the goal, it's game over! No! Anything but a goal. Okay. I can rebuild. That ghoul can be rebuilt. I'm going to lose another ghoul. Almost. 
Right, you two get onto wood. That reminds me, get a graveyard. You three come off there. Join my uh, Dreadlord on whatever new adventures he's going to have. Probably going to be stuff in the middle. You don't even need that many ghouls. In fact, I'll probably be very gentle and only use a few ghouls. It just ain't that necessary. And I'm going to go for, since that's further on the outside, that expansion. Necropolis. Are they still trying to push? No, they're not. Now, I would create this if it wasn't for those lightning lizards. Because they just destroy ghouls. So I'm just going to play it safe and not bother them. And go for the easier creek camps. Not exactly fantastic experience, but it's, it's better than dying. So I'll take it. Got loads of intelligence and... Uh, well, mana for my carrying swarm, so preferably get to level 3. What would be ideal is to see if they had a human player. I can't remember if they had a human player on their team and just basically harass him. Especially with the tech almost finishing. So I might actually go and do that now with like a couple of the ghouls. And just use this to finish off. Pretty much just be my hero. He's not going to be level 3 though, is it? Always holding out on me. Come on now. Where's the love? That's almost up. Oh, wow. Did they actually get level 3? Just. I'll take that. Tech is almost completed. Find out where they are, bro. Have they got any vulnerable expansions? I would like to know. Oh, Night Elf. Uh, yeah, you kind of can kill Night Elf Ellie. There's two people here working together. So not very advantageous for me to go there. But I could go to the Night Elf, and I haven't got enough cigarettes. Oh, that, that's almost up. I'm going to have to wait here a little bit longer than I'd like to, to be honest with you. I'm going to send this ghoul off, because he's not going to kill much. What I want to do is nuke those wisps, so they can't benefit too much from that healing. Wish I had another cigarette. Mistakes were made. There's my ghoul. Not getting much done. Oh. Don't really want the attention, mate. Don't mind me. I'm just running away. Really? He's probably just going to chase me now. Yeah, good. Stay away. I don't want your attention. Now, let's go for that same sort of tankiness slash damage combo. Oh, there's the human. Maybe I'm going to swap tracks to him. Yes, I am. Because he's already getting pressure from the undead or they're trying to fight each other. So the smartest thing here is, as tempted as it is to go there and try and get lucky versus the wisps, which you might be able to do, this human is... Open for punishment. Look at that. Look at that right there. We'll have some of that. Tech's going through still. I'm going to send this ghoul all the way over to the tavern. It's way too early for this. Oh, he's come back. But he's come back too early. Here we go. Alright, doesn't look like I'm going for the peasants. I'm actually going for the army instead. Don't want the panda to tank too much because he can't take it. Panda will get one more breath of fire before he dies. I'm not even too worried about saving him. I just want a breath of fire. Oh, shit! I was concentrating too much on the panda there. I didn't concentrate on the damage I was taking. Ah, uh, so close. I just wanted just the greed. I just wanted that little bit more. Squeeze that little bit more out. Fuck it. Let's get them both out. They're not messing around here. Well, you're going to try it, are you? Just go for broke. Ain't got time to build heroes or get them out. I want my Orb of Corruption. He's going to kill it before I can get my Orb of Corruption. Dag nab it! They always... What, the, what is this bullshit? Right, let me get that bloody Orb of Corruption, you sod. Ah, oh, thanks for the support there. Those undead death knights with their coils. Very welcome. Right, we're actually going for abominations. And more ghouls, because I'm going to suffer for wood. I will. I always do. I don't want to be that guy on the team that asks for wood. Happens too often. I've got to resist. Come on, fella. Back over there. We don't want you part of the team. We'll take you out of the hot key control group that's orange, looking for trouble. I kind of want to go back to red, although I've got no mana. Tome of Relics. I'll go back. Orc hasn't got a shot. Oh, yeah, let's get over there. It's a bit of a travel, but the clarity is really cool. And we're not going to get it from the other undeads. So I'm going to travel all the way over there. 
Still get your abominations. Work towards your frost worms. Your sexy, sexy frost worms. Go quite heavy on those later on. Lightning Orb and Orb of Quam would actually be a really cool combo. What? Wasn't I supposed to get a third hero as well? There we go. Inventory is full. What was the third hero? Oh no, it's Crit Lord actually. It wasn't even from the tavern. Haven't had enough practice trying to get that third hero. It's tough. There's Abominations. How Groot's are, are they? Ah, oh, they're not too much. Right then, so I want to get a few statues in here as well. You didn't actually really mention statues, but I think that will help support the heroes in terms of like keeping them alive a little bit longer, which is really what we're after. We're after sustain. I haven't really got to power up my heroes anywhere near as much as I wanted to. Obviously, I got a little bit slowed down by certain elements. Greed being one of them. But we're coming back to the human, I think. Try and give them a tough time. Now we're going to save our gold for now before going heavy into the frost worms. Hmm. Oh, look at those! That's some AoE conquest right there. As long as you don't teleport straight away, I can do some massive damage with that. Let's get over there. Where's that night elf? What's he up to? What's he doing in his life? What does he hope to achieve? There he is. Ah, run away too easy. Come on, let's get on him. I'm going for scroll of speed here. I want this night elf. Oh! Going that pan paladin then. Orb of Quam. And maybe a Paladin uh, Lightning Orb proc as well. Any luck? No? Don't know where that Carrion Swarm's going. I meant to click on the Paladin, misclicked. Battle Net Lag says no. Maybe Breath of Fire says yes. Or Abomination says yes. In fact, that reminds me. Let's put some Disease Cloud on these bad boys. If we can even afford the wood. Oh, our town is under attack, is it? Alright, well you can have it. Fine. Don't worry whilst your entire other base gets destroyed. Don't worry about it, mate. It's fine. Oh, hello. There's the archers. We need more of that um, AoE, though. I'm starting to run out of mana. Where's me crypt? Where's me crypt? Look at the focus from those archers. You've got to be so careful. This is getting nasty now. Huh. I might just teleport out of this one. That was my plan. Very well. You thought of that. There we go. Frostworms are out. Serious business time. The heroes are getting slightly more powerful. Still not as successful as previous games, unfortunately. I want to swap that over onto that, over onto that. I kind of feel like the Dreadlord should have the Orba. Huam. He's the more demonic source here. Uh, the statues didn't really work out too well for me because I didn't do a good job with them. Plus, we've got someone with Witch Doctors. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> That's the guy. Torrens are coming in for my allies. This doesn't look good for the enemy. They re oh, he's, he's too slow with the rest of his units. Someone asking for wood? Or wasn't it orange? Oh, I don't even know. No, orange is on the enemy team. It couldn't have been orange. It was someone. Here we go. Oh, man. He wasn't lying, he did get his melee, and the undead did get their spiders. Right. More armor on the abominations that are non-existent? I don't know about that. Let's pump up the ghouls a little bit. 
Oh, yeah, it's Archer time. <laughs> what a slaughter. He was actually felt like he was forced back there. Damn, bro. More frostworms. Well, we'll take those. Why do I feel like the blue undead was the enemy there? That knife was just too cocky. Now we move on to the human. Do really want those statues, to be fair. Because they do give a lot of mana. That's the main thing. Not so much for health, just for mana. Shame. Well, do we have an Archmage with Brilliance or we don't? They do. We don't. Who keeps asking for wood? What sort of uh, insult is this? Oh, they're teleporting in. Be a little bit cautious. Panda, be careful. Get a little bit frisky over here. Although we've got a fairly good art. Frostworms are still going. Keep them alive. Oh! Yep. Alright, back up now. Getting a little nasty. Teleport time again then. Is he going to do another chain lightning and kill? No! Okay, I only lost one. That's alright. If you can, use both of them at the same time. Like, you press C and B, and it does both of them. So you kind of move and do C and B. Have the statues tabbed. C, B. Stop. C, B. Stop. C, B. It's a little bit um, much, to be honest, but it does actually... It's one of the most efficient ways to heal yourself up and that. But whatever. Well, let's move on. Stick them onto mana now, because I'm too lazy to do that shit. And regroup. Hey, we can get abominations back and go for the armor! The armored abominations, of which there are zero. They haven't had much success, to be honest. <laughs> In just doing anything this game. We got enough frost ones. We got enough undead. We can try to throw in some abominations for some flare. Level 2 A Pale. Level 2 Breath of Fire. Level 2 Carrion Swarm. Almost level 3 Carrion Swarm. I want some more mana. Probably just going to buy mana pots because they're so efficient. Well, they're not really efficient, but when you got light level 5 hero, yeah, they're pretty efficient. That was my Bit the old bat harass. Chuck that in there. How's my abominations come along? There you are, fella. Check out that two armor. That's a force to be reckoned with. Don't get distracted by the bats, my boy. He's pretty distracted. If we attack now, it's going to be free first for our screw. Let's go attack. He's goading me. Here we go! Ready? Oh, a wombo combo of a guy just standing outside of his base. Never a great idea. Enjoy all of those units for free. Look at that Fampora go as well on that dead lord. Dead lord. Troll the lol. I don't think so! This calls for more abominations. Look at that as well. Disease cloud. Oh, it's gonna slice through those militia! Not really, but it's better than nothing, eh? It's worth the effort, I'd say. Worth the contribution. Looks like they committed to killing that expansion completely and not helping out the allies, so it's kind of a win, really. Now, that we might want to respond to because we can kill this, done the damage, and then I can town portal and destroy that. I'm going to town portal down here, I can, so I can get a nice arc on those archers. Oh, that's 
so much fun. Just loses all those archers every time. Completely obliterated. I'm just going to go mass cigarettes as well in case he decides to go to my base. Oh, wait. Here we go. Where are you going, bro? I'm trying to chuck some bats in my frostworms. Do you not know how frostworms work? They love bats. They <laughs> they welcome them with open wings. Oh, look. Those ghouls that I upgraded earlier ain't doing nothing. And I've got 1,300 wood. There you go. There's your wood now. Might be a little bit too late. Oh, no. There's a bat. Stop the bat. No, no, no! Oh, he decided to get lazy and go for the other one. Right then, let's get our heroes into position. If we can. Unfortunately, he's a little bit blocked. I'd love to get all of them together. Alright, let's kill that witch doctor, because I don't like him spoiling my thumb. Panda's breath of fire is just a little bit out. He wanted to come all the way around here to cast it. I said, no. Well, let's just pull you back into action. More abominations, you say? Do my obsidian statues? Yeah. I kind of went AFK with those after teleporting. That's always an easy mistake to make because I put them on a separate hotkey, like six, something kind of obscure. Because I don't like having them with my units because then they just end up attacking all the time. Who's left? Teal! It's the dude with the mass archers. Let's go. Let's find him. Bloodlust is really nice as well. Very nice. Hey, the <laughs> Dreadlord's stuck because of all the ghouls. Let's go. We've still got plenty of mana. Might even see an Inferno Stone here. But I sent him in solo. I could probably get it. Tempting to do it. Everyone else is going to... I almost need to block the enemy heroes. Ah, oh, he's got Windwalk. Never mind. <laughs> the reason behind that is just to stop him from getting experience. That teal's going to be pumping out. Any more units or is that it? Have you just gone AFK? He might have just gone AFK. He doesn't want me getting my level for... Oh, look at that. I wanted one Breath of Fire. Wow, okay. One Breath of Fire does it. Where's the Dreadlord? Ah! Oh well, he actually did have units! Just chuck it down, because I can. Damn! Level 6 Dreadlord, level 5 Panda, level 5 Crypt Lord. Level 3 Impale, level 3 Breath of Fire, level 3 Carrion Swarm. Beautiful. And the abominations were fantastic as well. Let's not forget the abominations and their contribution to the game. They did great. Wow. Yikes. That is a lot of experience <laughs> stolen. 5,000. It's double the next person there. Beautiful. Right then, thank you very much for your support, Jacob, and thank you everyone else for supporting, as you are patrons and you get to see this as well. So take care, guys. I'll see you later.